welcome to Hollow Knight. What? Yes, it's me, Joey. Um, forever ago, someone asked me if I'd play Hollow Knight, a friend of mine, and I said, okay, and then never did it. So now I'm going to actually do it in between Steam World games. I don't know how long it is. I know it's fairly long, but not like a hundred hours long unless you want to do absolutely everything. I'm giving myself permission right now to not do absolutely everything. Um, the edges are already the edges. Now I don't know how... Uh, that's fine. I don't know how... where the camera's going to go or where things are. I might end up in the bottom left. It might end up wherever. In wilds beyond, they speak your name with reverence and regret. For none could tame our savage souls, yet you the challenge met. Under palest watch you taught, we changed, base instincts were redeemed. A world you gave to bug and beast as they had never dreamed. From Elegy for Hollow Nest by Monomon, the teacher. My younger brother really likes this game. I know it's a Metroidvania. I've seen him play it a little bit but never seen anyone play it through to completion. But yes, I've got to give myself permission not to do absolutely everything, otherwise I will force myself to do absolutely everything, and that's not going to be good. I'll just do a normal playthrough, and I'll do whatever I need to do. If it's easy to do everything, I'll try and do it, but I'm not going to promise it. Hello, friend. It's me, Goatman. Not a goat. Also playing on controller. Got my little needle. Right. So if the UI is in the top left, I'll immediately move it. Hopefully it's not one of those games where there's stuff in every corner. Hello. It me. John Knight. Okay, that's there. So I guess for now I'll move myself into the bottom left and see how that looks. Okay. Lag it probably for the first time things are happening. Lag and then it will stop lagging. A game by Team Cherry. Yeah. Uh, I'm quite familiar with the Metroidvania genre. Not super duper familiar, but. Oh no, you broke the statue. Now you can't get the Don't Break Any Statues achievement. I also turned on uh, the ability to see achievements when I get them in-game, so you can actually see what I got. I like when games do that. Inspect. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Your great strength marks you among us. Um, not amongst us. Not among us. Focus your soul and you shall achieve feats of which others can only dream. Collect soul by striking enemies. Once enough soul is collected, hold B to heal. That's the, uh, the, the the juice in the top left in my face portrait. I can use it to heal up. I guess I've got five hits based on the shields. Ow. The hell? What hit me? I don't know. Maybe the coin's bumping me on the head? Okay, so that healed up one. It looks like I have about three uses of my regular spiel, but I can't do it anymore. What's the blue, blue goo? Ah, it's soul hearts. Okay. Hits I can take that don't count towards my actual health, but will probably go away once I lose them forever. Wow, hee haw. Oh dear. There's stuff up there, but I can't go there. If I'd fallen to the left, I could have gotten it. But I didn't. I couldn't. The 
the spikes here. I could probably tank some damage if I wanted, but no need. No need. Let's just play until we find something useful to look at. And I'll probably play for 30 minute episodes again like normal. Hello. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Beyond this point, you enter the land of king and creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. Bear witness to the last and only civilization, the eternal kingdom, Hallow Nest. Surely these doors have handles. And I'm not expected just to break down every door I see. But here we are. Right, I've fallen. No getting back up from now. Hello, lamppost. Dirtmouth. The okay. fading town. Hello. No speaky. Yes, speaky. Oh, Hello there, traveller. I'm afraid Lord there's only one le only me left to for welcome. Our town's fallen quiet, you see. The other residents, they've all disappeared, headed down that well, one by one, to the caverns below. It used to be there as a great kingdom beneath our town has long fell to ruin, yet it still draws folks into its depths. Wealth, glory, enlightenment, the darkness seems to perform us all things. I'm sure you two seek your dreams down there. Well, watch out, it's a sickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad and travellers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such great things after all. Okay, the resting also gets rid of your temporary health. Okay. Hello? Boy, your mapping supplies will be opening soon. Iselda and Cornifer. Down the well. Whee! Can't climb back up. The forgotten crossroads. I'm guessing I'm going to need this money. That's why I'm killing things to get money. I wonder if the money's my experience or whether it's something else. Probably is the answer. Probably something else. Okay, let's go in here then. I don't know why I've decided to go right first. No idea. Hello there, Temple of the Black Egg. Oh, hello there. How delightful to meet another traveller on these forgotten roads. You're a short one, but you have a strong look about you. I'm Krill. I have something of an obsession with uncharted places. This ancient kingdom holds many fascinating mysteries, and one of the most intriguing of them is standing right before us. A great stone egg lying in the corpse of an ancient kingdom, and this egg, is it warm? It certainly gives off a unique air. Can it be opened? There are strange marks all over it. I do so love a mystery, and who knows what other marvels lie even deeper below us. I wonder what other marvels await. I shall endeavour to find out. Okay. Ding, 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 ding. These guys seem to be like running at me every time I hit them. But as long as, you know, for now, there's no ranged enemies, so I can sort of just stab people from a distance, and as long as they haven't got hyper armor, I can keep hitting them. If they have hyper armor, then I'm not going to be able to uh, stop them. Do I have a map? Uh, I guess not yet. Where about you? Shockwave. Rude. I don't know if I'm supposed to be fighting this lad yet. But he did. Hello, worm friend. Yes? Okay. I saved the worm friend. Probably. So there's this path. Where does this path lead? Here. Now it 
looks like it's just wall. Can't do anything with that. There's a miner here. Whoa. Hang on. Oh, mate. Oh, bury my mother pale and slight. Bury my father with his eyes shut tight. Bury my sisters two by two. And then when you're done, let's bury me too. Haha, <laughs> do you know that one? It's one of my favourites. We can sing something else if you like. You start singing, I'll join in. I bet you have a beautiful singing voice. Haha. <laughs> so what are you down here for? If you came to get wealthy, just look around you. These mines are still bursting with riches. There's plenty for everyone. Just grab a pick and join in. Haha. <laughs> Is it a way to get all my juice back? It might be a, like a special juice refiller station. Special juice. Okay, I, get, I, I guess I'm going this way now. I, I don't really have any rhyme or reason to go this way, but... Maybe I have to like slam this down. I can't do it yet. Wouldn't surprise me though if it's if that's the case. It seems a bit of an odd way of showing it. But Metroidvanias are encapsulated by their. Oh no, you can't go this way yet. Hee <laughs> hee. You have to get the right item first, and then you can. So I'll uh, worry about that in a bit. Give me the money. I need the cash. Alright. Alright. There's a downwards path and a leftwards path. I, just, I like to try and explore the, uh, the path in which I can actually go first. Meaning, like, I don't want to go down, up and down floors until I actually have something to go up and down for. Oh. It's just like you hit the, you hit the ground, that's fine. There's a lad up there, I bet I can't get him yet though. That's another thing, like there'll often be objects that are just out of reach to taunt you. Be like, oh, you want this, don't you? And I'll be like, yes. And they're like, no, no, you can't have it. Haha. <laughs> if all I have to do is break the, the thing, maybe I can get there, but I'm not going to try too hard. I assume the game doesn't want me to do it. Those weird lag spikes are also happening for me, I don't know why. I think when new things happen is usually when that happens. We gone, friend. big tower. I wonder if I can go up or go down it. This is where I started, wasn't it? Rude. It's my own fault, but still rude. Losing like half the money I pick up by doing this shit, but I 
guessing the reason why I came up is because I'm guessing it's going to lead me back to places I could have gone before. So I should at least check it out. And you never know, there might be stuff here that I'm interested in. Yeah, this is where I came. Oh, I can go back up. Okay, this is where I spawned. So I can, uh, this is now a good place to explore again. Already I can tell you I'm missing like a mini map. I like that. And I like having a little indicator to tell you where the storyline thing is. I know, you know, you don't need to be spoon fed everything in this world, but. I get used to it in lots of games for telling you literally just exactly where to go. Okay, so these guys are here. We're gonna do that and talk to them. Do wonderful things. So, all of these places are gonna be filled up with little wormy friends, I guess. And so, if I can get all the wormy friends, probably something good happens, but again, not gonna commit to getting them all. I know myself. All right. Inspect. The Pilgrim's Way. Travelers of Hallownest. Descend through verdant worlds and fungal groves to the city at the High Kingdom's heart. There all wishes shall be granted, all truths revealed. I guess I can't do anything about him yet. I don't have like a dash attack to get up to him close, like fast enough to do anything. I do have this little secret room though. Still stuff down to the to more to the left. Don't think I can wall jump, can I? No. Okay, then I can make no progress here. You can bounce off of things and actually take damage. Whoopsie. I also don't know how saving works. If I die, how much progress do I lose? Who knows? There's no point in not healing yourself up because you get the shit back as soon as you start attacking things, so you might as well do it. Alright, so downwards is the only way. We're singing Luigi's Mansion over here. Hello. Hmm. Ah, hello there. Come down to explore these beautiful old ruins. Don't mind me. I'm a fondness for exploring myself. Getting lost and finding your way again is a pleasure like no other. We're exquisitely lucky, you and I. I'm a cartographer by trade and I'm working on mapping this area right now. Would you like to buy a copy of my work so far? Purchase the map of the area? Yes. You acquired a map. Hold left bumper to view a map of the current area. View a detailed map of holiness in the map pane of the inventory. A map can be a useful thing, but it alone won't show you where you are. If you're not the if you've not the head for directions, I suggest purchasing a compass. Purchasing a compass for my wife, Zelda. She's now just opening up our new shop in Dirtmouth, selling all sorts of useful things to wanderers like yourself. She'll live and sell some of my old maps from time to time. I pop back to see her whenever I finish mapping an area. She's always so excited to see me. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna need a compass because I don't know where the hell I am. Well, I do. I'm I'm where the man is in the bottom left corner of the map. But I should buy a compass anyway. This this is Legend of Zelda logic. You should always buy a compass. It's good times. This map tells me that there's a room to the bottom left of where I am, and indeed there is. But this is a dead end, so I should explore it because it doesn't go anywhere. Follow me. Okay, Wormy does not care for you. I thought you might be able to do that. Legend of Zelda 2 on the NES told me that downstabbing to uh, move forward... Ow! Move forward is a good time. The one that you should do at all opportunities. Hello, friend. Wait. 
I said, wait. I was trying to get my heel on. Worm your lawn. Good. I don't want to accidentally hit yourself into things, though. That would be very bad for business. So, I wonder if he only ever sells as far of the map as you've seen, or whether he always sells the completed version of the map. Or whether you can do it yourself and actually explore. Can you get, like, a pencil and start writing the map out yourself to get a more complete version of it? Or is that what the compass is for? There's a symbol there telling me something. There's also a hidden secret. I wonder if there's a way to tell where they are. I keep pressing select to try and view the map and that's not the button. That is not the button. Okay. Let's go over here and see what's what. Another pile of money. Yes. Wonderful news. Okay, and then this way. Keep doing that. We can't. What is this? It lets you get your shit back and then you rest. Ah, I think you might need to rest to heal. And save the game. So maybe if you don't rest, you lose all the progress before your last rest. Perhaps. Ow. Okay, they have ranged. I mean, they're fairly well telegraphed, so it shouldn't be hard to dodge, but... It. Joey, one day you'll learn. I keep doing it because in most games it is back on the, on the controller to do that. But in this game is not what I'm looking for. So there's a path down here that the map maker doesn't know about because he didn't go this far. Clearly hasn't got the fighting chops. I'm also guessing like a compass is going to be like 27 million coins. So I won't be able to afford it. Maybe the reason he didn't go further is because he couldn't make this jump. I mean, neither can I. So you're in good company, buddy. You're in good company. Can you just... I mean, I don't mind. And I won't do it. But you could just farm coins. Okay. Okay. So, now we're in the passageway down here. Ow. And someone's digging. Okay, don't let go before you've done it. You don't get refunded the charge back. I've played platform before. I can do it. So there's a path up here that I could, if you had like a double jump or something, I could get up. But I don't have one, so. I mean, there's going to be a double jump in this game, or like a grappling hook or something. All these games have some kind of, or quite a few mobility options that you get. As you progress through the game, so it's not like this is outside the realm of possibility.
Ah. Okay. So I think I do want to be up there. But to get there, I need to not mess that up. This is like the loser patrol. You failed. Go all the way back to the start. Do not pass go. Do not collect 200 pounds. That sort of thing. Gonna get better at this down stabbing lock. There's another thing here. What is this trying to tell me about? Is it trying to tell me like a... One was a save point. What's the other one? Yeah, I guess this healing taking time thing is to prevent you from just being able to heal whenever you want to. <laughs> this isn't Dark Souls... Estus chugging. It's not quite as easy as that. You're the summoner. another unknown passage. In some kind of village. Oh. A big lift I can't go in. Alright. So either a key or a, a movement option or something I don't have that means I can't go that way. I don't mind being railroaded. If you're not going to tell me exactly where to go, at least prevent me from going to certain places before I should be there. That'll do. Right. This is the bottom right path. I guess I should go towards the boss soon. Cruz, the mother. Bye. My guess is that's not supposed to be hard. killed. Super good. Super good. There's a left path apparently here somewhere. Because I think I'm in the part of the map. Just above this. But if that's the case, then the left path is below the path I've already been on. So, why is this here? Again, the compass would help me. A door with an open slot. I need some kind of ticket, probably, to ride the train. Wah wee bubba wee bubba wee wah. Stop it. Oh, yeah, yeah, you guys. Silly. Get out of here. Okay. Then this path. No, okay. Then this path probably leads towards the 
the boss, maybe? I think that is what I'm supposed to do. Mine. I feel like it needs a little jingle. I don't know why. It just doesn't feel like without a little jingle. You little shits. I know they're coming. And yet still... I get hit by them. Okay, so you can do little hops. It's important to know. Now I'm searching for a bench to rest at. Oh, you're shielded. The solution is to hit them from behind, clearly. Or above. The solution is not to face tank them until they die. But I did it. I don't know where I am. I thought I knew where I was at, but apparently I don't know where I'm at. Here's a rest stop. So this is where I'll quit for now. Tom machine with the symbol of a stag. Insert Geo. Yes. Okay. I've opened the way. Now this is probably to a different... Or maybe that's what that is. Interesting. Maybe it's not a boss. Maybe it's... A different zone. So I guess the first thing to do, I've saved now so I can quit whenever, but if I go back to town real quick and have a look at what's there. Is this the boss? No, it's a boss. But <laughs> it's not really a boss, it's not named. It's just a mini boss. He opened that way for me. There's stuff up there, obviously. And a big old spike corridor that I can probably go... Going across. Okay. No, I can't. I'd need to be able to, like, dash through that. That ain't happening. No sorry, Bob. Okay. Joe says he's going to leave and then he kept going forwards. Why? Who knows? I'm not I wasn't trying to go forwards. No fault tonight. I see. No, please die, please die, please die, please. Probably one more go round of that, maybe. You bounced up, you shatter. Good. Goodbye. 
falsehood. Defeat the false knight. Pick up the city crest. Whatever that means. Stone slab bearing the crest of the Hallowness capital city has an insert on the back that would fit into a slot. And a lot of money. Okay. Like a whole heap of cash. 200 or so dollar we do's. And beyond it. Entirely different thing. Switch I can press. It opens a door. Sorry I missed you. If you're feeling lost, why not pop up to our store in Dirtmouth and purchase a map of this area. Available now for an excellent price. Oh, okay, so if you hadn't seen him by then, if you went straight to the boss somehow, then he would be gone now. You could buy the map after the fact, I'm guessing. I'm still expecting like a 2,000 coin. Compass. What's in here? Here's a resting spot. So I'll speak to this person, then I'll stop. Hello. Uh -huh. Oh, who is that creeping out of the darkness? My, you're looking grim, a strange empty face and a wicked looking weapon. Something important has drawn you down into Hollow Nest's corpse, but I won't ask what. Perhaps the reason you found me is because you need my help. Say no more, friend. I'm going to give you a gift, a nasty little spell of my own creation. It's just perfect for a little like you. Ho, 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 ho. Now. Consumed the vengeful spirit. Tap B to unleash the spirit. Spells will repeat soul will replenish soul by striking enemies. Yeah, the same thing you use to heal. Hello? Oh, you've broken at last. I apologize. Perhaps I should have warned you about the power of that spell. I was watching over you as you slept, but you seem to have slipped away myself. Oh, ho, ho. Now we're awake. I was wondering whether you'd do me a small favor. Not as a payment for my gift, of course. Simply now because we're friends. You see, a horrid great beast has made his home in the heart of this temple. Such disrespect, I'd be quite grateful if you would venture deeper in it and slay it for me. It's a hardy creature, but with your power, you're more than a match for it. Good luck with this small favour, my friend. Ho, 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 ho. I should have saved and stopped, but I didn't. Now I'm stopped. Killing beasts for a snail. You know how it goes. Be gone. Cool. Simple minded. Ow. You simple minded being. That's what I was going to say. Until I myself proved to be a simple minded being. Bike. Sharp. No, no. Don't pass fine to me. Okay. Lots of bones. You gotta be careful about knocking yourself off of things. Okay, so you can press B to do that. This is the game's way of telling me that I can get through here now. Soul Catcher. Equip a charm to activate its powerful abilities. To equip a charm, open the charms when you are resting at a bench. Charmed. Cry your first charm. I missed a thing by going this way. Oh well. I'll go back round. My curiosity almost got me killed. I went straight to the boss instead of going where I was supposed to go. Sorry about that. Coins for me? Shouldn't have.
a way to heal up a bit. But then also... A way to get more things, more goodies. temporary hearts for the boss if you need it. I, of course, didn't need it, but I am the best. No, I'm joking, but hello. Oh, uh -huh, so it is done then. You've slain the beast. The poor thing must have been terrified of you. You used to be quite docile, but the rancid air in these caverns filled with some ancient rage. Still, you did what had to be done. You have my gratitude, of course. We both know you wouldn't have made it through without that spell of mine. Oh, ho, ho, ho. And look, the gate between us has opened. Oh, I'm sure you're going to move on. Farewell and have faith. Whatever you're seeking, it will find you. <laughs> right. Best. Open the charms menu. Used by shamans to draw more soul from the world around them. Increase the amount of soul gained when striking an enemy. Sure. Sure. All right. See you guys next time when we go and see what this new spell unlocks. And go to try and find a compass. See you then. Goodbye.